Hey guys, this is Linda, and this is a prelude to episode nine. Don't skip this because it's crucial information. After the last episode, when Jupiter was convinced that I was touching myself talking to him, Jupiter was led to believe that I was the leader of Anonymous. And yes, Anonymous, the big scary group that hacks bad guys, that Anonymous. And that is who Jupiter started a war against. Someone led him to believe that I was the enemy and I was like, what the actual fork? Why would you do that? So that's when I decided that I was gonna get him back on the Linda train. I thought if Jupiter was led to believe that he should hate me, how can I get him to unhate me? And then it happened. I was kidnapped by Anonymous. It was about 9 p.m. here in Utah when I was watching some squirrels climb up a tree in my local park. As soon as I knew it, I was captured and thrown into a back of a van. I woke up in a dark room with no windows and I was there for about a day. Anonymous kept a very close eye on me and he was holding me hostage in an attempt to get something from Jupiter. I explained to Anonymous that Jupiter didn't want anything to do with me. He thought I was the leader of Anonymous. A few hours later, Anonymous went to go drive to McDonald's to pick up some food because I was starving. That's when I snuck up to his room and took my phone back. I was so scared I didn't know who to call. So I ended up calling Jupiter after a few weeks of no communication. But I really needed to ask for his help. I've never been kidnapped before by someone that's not in my family. This is what I said. Jupiter, Jupiter, I think cannot by Anonymous, please help. And then he said, Whoa, 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 slow down. Take a breath. And then I said, He put me in a space pit, and there are no windows. He then asked me, How do you have your phone? And then I said, I stole it back from him when he went to go pick up some McDonald's. I found out that they've been trying to pin us against each other this whole time. And then he said, I understand that now. I'm so sorry I was led to believe that you were the leader of Anonymous. And then a few minutes later, after that conversation, I hung up the phone and I escaped Anonymous's basement. And that's the story, how I got back into Jupiter's good graces. It was a very traumatic experience and a true experience that will be written down in history books, the kidnapification of Linda Binda. And then a few days after I escaped from being kidnapped, I sent Jupiter a Zoom meeting link and what you're about to see is that. Linda Binda and Jupiter, episode nine, mother forker. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, can't complain. Do you like my dress I picked out just for you today? Cool. Yeah. We needed to talk today because you said that you wanted me to clear up some lies or some things I said to you, right? Some things you said about me, but yes. So basically, um, I was led to believe that you were evil by the same people. You know, because Anonymous got into me and told me that that you were at the head of Anonymous and trying to take me out. They were doing a double take. They were trying to put piss it against each other. Which was a dumb move on their half. I know. Because they know that our our love and friendship will never will never fall fall apart. Exactly. But to be honest, I had no idea that they were doing it. They were doing this right under my nose. I had no idea. Going to be totally honest with you. I know. Isn't it so scary that that was happening? Yeah, well, it happens. Shit happens all the time. Yeah, and the fact that you didn't believe me. You thought that I would do that to you. But how do how did you manage to get out when they when they captured you? How did you manage to get out of there? Well, I actually, you know, I told you the room was dark, right? Mhm. Mm there was actually a secret trap door in, in the floor underneath the carpet that I pulled up and I found a trap door and it led me straight out. Hidden tunnel. Yes, a hidden tunnel was there. Smart. So you managed to steal a phone off one of your captors. I did. 
What the? Oh my They're god. They're just so you dumb. They're just so looking. stupid. You did it while they weren't looking. I, I, you know, I am the queen of getting out of tough places. You do realize I was the king of thieves at one point out in Melba, so you probably picked up a few things from me. Yeah, oh, I probably did. You, you taught me a lot. Yes, picking pockets was easy back then, but not anymore. I don't do it no more. I'm actually confessing that I used to be a thief. I, before I ran with the Nerd Brigade, I used to be a street corner thief. Uh, a kid who would steal stuff from other kids to sell to other kids on a black market, like, you know. So I started that up. And then before everything hit, before I realized it, I was getting some fame and infamy. So I started, I started off small, you know, nabbing pictures here and there, people's wallets here and there for like, to sell off to someone else for a little cash. But then, years later, while I was in high school, my freshman year, I got approached by Forrest Price, mind you. He approached me and said, if you're going to be a thief here at the school, you're going to be thieving your whole life. Is that what you really want? And I look at him, and I'm like, who are you to judge me? And he said this. In case you change your mind, find me in the library tomorrow. I will draw up a contract and I will let you work with my association, with the people I have working under me. So I thought it over. Next day, I went I went to school, went in the library, and he was in there already with a contract drawn up. And he slid it my way and he said, either keep being that street corner thief or join the nerd brigade and become something more. And you know what I did? What? I signed, I signed the contract and I started working for him. Here's what I'm going to say, though. If any of my TikTok fans have any questions for me, I'm willing to hear them out. So if you want to go live and actually have me, you know, talk to the fans, then that's fine with me. Okay, I can I can try that. But right now, yeah. right now, I'm not live or anything right now. So you can see what? We're we're in this together right now. Yeah. I've I've slowly, slowly been trying to quit, you know, smoking and all. You know. But right now I have a carton of cigarettes with me here at the house. I uh I only smoke one pack almost every day, but I've been cutting back more and more and more to try and cut back on consumption of nicotine. Because if my body tanks too much nicotine, it's going to shut down. Oh, yeah. So, and you said during your actions in the past, nicotine is what pushed you to do those things, right? Well, that and alcohol. Yeah. You know what? I have to tell you something. I found out what Anonymous um, wanted you to do in order to save me. Yeah, I know. So they... Oh my gosh, I love your pants. Wait, what, what pants are you wearing? They're PG, they're PG pants. Oh my gosh, I love them. You know. Anyway, as you were saying. Um, so basically, Anonymous told me before that I escaped um, that in order for me to be released, you had to go on TikTok and admit to your crimes. Which I already did so. And you know, you know that I did. It's I know I tried I tried telling them that that he apologized. But he yeah. they said they said he didn't state explicitly what he did. They can fuck off because I already explained and I already told them why I did so. I was drunk half the time or even tired. I wasn't even thinking. But like is that an excuse that yeah, that's your excuse for everything that you did? It's not an excuse, it's the truth. I, I know that's what just they were thinking. Drunk. Yeah, I was drunk. I didn't, you know, I was drunk. I had no idea what I was doing. I was drunk. I I my brain clouded. My mind was clouded due to alcohol. So I quit drinking to try and clear my head, you know, yeah. trying to stay cool. Smoking only makes me lightheaded, but sometimes when I, when I was living over off of Bella, 
I was chain smoking and it was hard and it was harder because I was chain smoking. Couldn't think clearly and chain smoking basically drove my mind nuts. And I was drunk half the time, had no idea what I was saying or doing because I was under the influence of alcohol. And those anonymous bastards need to say, need to learn that I was drunk half the time. I had no idea what I was doing or saying. I was drunk. What alcohol were you drinking? drinking? Uh, something strong. I think it was vodka. Where'd like you get it from? Where'd you get it from? Uh, one of my neighbors bought it for me. Oh, that's nice of them. But I just want you to know, in this Zoom call, it's it's locked. No no anonymous can get in. This is why I wanted to meet with you because anything on Zoom is protected by us. And I won't tell anybody what you won't, don't want me to tell, okay? Yeah, exactly. But I had to turn down my volume a bit because my ears were ringing a little. Oh, sorry. My voice says that sometimes. Yeah, I had to turn down the volume on my system, <laughs> on my phone. Okay. Yeah, so actually, when I was at Anonymous's basement, they actually told me, they said that we have evidence that Corbin uh, has been talking to minors recently. It was a long time ago. And I but, like, like to they said mm-hmm. recently, like in the past week or two or three. Yeah, I talk to younger girls, but I'm only friends with them. I don't go any further. I'm friends with people. I know I'm friends. Again, you can be people. honest with me. I'm not, I'm not judging you or anything, okay? I'm not going to lie to you because I've just been friends with them. And that's the truth. I have friends all over social media. That's all I'm saying is I've been friends with people younger than me on social media because I'm friends with them and I'm not going to take it any further than that. That's good. That's good. So what's like, what's the lowest age you'll go now? Like now that everything's happened. 18, 19, if that. Okay. So you still wouldn't date someone that's like 17 or 16? Nope, because that's what got me in trouble the first time. So you, you learned yeah, from your mistakes. I was drunk. I was yeah. drunk. I really was drunk. I, I, I believe you. Yeah, I was drunk. I had no idea. I had no idea that everyone was recording everything I was saying, including you. You had no right to do that to me, by the way. What? Which one? You recorded half the things I talked about with you and then posted it to TikTok. So that's why I'm saying you are no longer allowed to screen record whenever I'm talking on live. Oh, okay. Because sometimes, no conf- sometimes I get confused because you tell me, okay, we can record this. So I think I just got confused. I'm sorry I did that. Yeah. But from now on, you're not allowed to, at least while okay. I'm talking to you. You're not allowed to do that. Well, are there any secrets you have to tell to me now that no one's recording? I have a feeling you are, so I'm not going to say any secrets. I'm not recording. You might be recording, but I'm not. I'm saying this because I don't want any more secrets. Plus, it shows that the red light for record is on. But that's for your side. I'm not recording. Are you sure? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. I'm teasing you. I'm just teasing you. Come You're on. scaring me. Oh my gosh. Because I'm I... teasing you. Okay. Come on. Sorry, You're I'm so easy to tease. Yeah, after all that happened, I met these three other women and kind of stirred up a relationship. Don't worry, they're all of age. I know, I know. I, I saw a picture of you guys. Probably on my Facebook or something. Yeah. Right here. Oh, help. Why do you have that? Uh, she sent it Why? to me. Oh, my God. Of course, fucking Delaney. Of course, fucking Desiree sent that. Of course, she did. You forgot her name? Sorry, my brain. I usually talk to the other one. The first one that we all met through. I usually talk to her. You know, these might be people that are an anonymous. They're not. They they're clean. I can I can give you 
without the I can talk to you and tell you this. They are clean. Okay. I made sure of it. I talked to Kaylee. Desiree sometimes. And that other girl. Um, Delaney. I usually... Delaney doesn't really talk much. But um, it's usually me, Kylie, and Des who are usually talking. So are you guys like a threatful or a couple? Something like that. Something like that. Have you gone through any more first base, second base, third base with them? Not yet. We're, they're saving up so they can come live with me, you know? Yeah, I get that. Because I can't legally leave the state right now. Why? I can't legally do that. Remember that investigation still going on? I oh, can't leave. you talking to the people? I found out that guy who I was talking to, because someone from the FBI told me not to talk to the guy anymore because he was pretending to be a cop. Oh my gosh. The FBI took a reach out to me too. Yeah, they've, those FBI agents have been real lifesavers. They've saved my ass on multiple occasions. Wow. And knowing that they're probably going to see, they're probably looking at this and seeing that I am innocent in all this, that I just got wrapped up in everything because all I was was drunk off my ass and didn't know what I was saying or doing at the time. They're probably looking at this and being like, well, at least he came forward and said he was drunk and kind of, you know, under the influence. So we can't really blame him for what he did. You know, we can't blame him. How do you know they're watching this? Let's just say I have some pretty pissed off people in pretty high places. That's all I'm going to say. You think they can hack through your Zoom and watch these? They're the fucking government. They watch everything every every person in the U.S. does. They're the fucking government. We can't oh, wow. stop them. So I can't, I can't take off this dress for you? You can if you want on here because I doubt they're going to look at this because this is just a conversation going on between you and me. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. Idaho is my territory. No other race could ever set foot here without getting cleared by me. You know, that sounds just like what um, the Nazis did. Well, the Nazis actually killed anyone who wasn't them. Committing Would mass you do genocide. that? Oh, hell no. I don't commit mass genocide. I only go after those who lose their way. Okay. The only yeah. genocide I've committed is to a couple of ants on the sidewalk. <laughs> if you're going to commit mass genocide on ants, put a hose over their hill and it'll fill up the hill and kill them all. Oh, you seem like you thought about this. I know about it because I'm from Melba. Me and my brothers used to do that with ant hills. Oh yeah. yeah. Literally, my brothers and I would drown fucking ant hills. It was hilarious. We did it whenever our electronics or something wouldn't work. We'd go outside and drown ant, drown ants or any other, any other like creepy crawly. We would try to drown them. Um, I actually had an encounter with a ghost recently. Should I tell you about that? Sure, if you want. Because will you promise to keep this a secret? I don't want anyone to find out about this. Of course. Okay. So, you know that that period of time where we weren't talking, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there was actually a ghost that came in, and he was um, actually in a wheelchair, and he only had one leg. And I said, oh, my gosh, Gerald, is that you? Remember Gerald? Yeah. He, he he came through my wall and he rolled his wheelchair up to my bed and he did this with his hand. <sighs> like that. Like he was trying to grab my, my tatas. Yeah, well, at least he knew. I'm guessing you felt a force push him away. Yeah, but do ghosts get consent? No, no, they don't. It was because your mark, the mark I gave you on the back of your right hand. 
It's because oh of that, that you were able to push him away. You saved me. You saved me. Well, it was due to a pulse I put on it. For any other paranormal entity that gets close, that is like a ghost or an unseen entity, if it tries to grab you, it'll shoot out a pulse, knocking them backward. That's not the only pulse I shoot out. <laughs> oh, girl, you are something else. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, well, now I told you a secret. You tell me what. Well? It has to be juicy yeah. for me. All right, all right, all right. Just give me a minute. I'm trying to think of one. Because there are so many things that I keep secret. Even secrets I would take to my grave. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Just give me a minute. Oh, I was talking to my brother one time over the phone, you know? Uh -huh. And he called me late at night one time while I was taking a shower, mind you. And as I was talking to him, I got out of the shower, dried off and whatnot. And he gave me this secret tip. If you... If you're craving blood and you can't satiate the hunger for blood, drink something with cherry in it and it'll drive the blood, it would drive the blood away from you. It would drive that taste away. And that was a very good secret he shared with me because I started doing it more often and found out that it tastes just like the copper blood. It drives away that taste for blood and kind of takes away the blood thirst. And I was just sitting. I just finished drinking a Dr. Pepper cherry one, and oh my god, I just, I can't get enough of cherry stuff anymore because of it. Oh my gosh. Wait, when was the last time you actually drank real blood? Uh, that was a long time ago when I was like five. I bit my sister so hard she bled. Oh yeah, I did. Cheyenne Is that the same one that has a restraining order on you? No, that was Cheyenne. Cheyenne was the one I bit. Oh my gosh. That's such a good point. You're such a good actor. Yeah. Where's my fucking Emmy or Oscar? I'm wondering the same thing. Where the fuck's my Emmy when I need it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. I just had to do that. But yeah, there was this one time when I was younger. I was like 10. That's my first ghost encounter. I was 10. And we had this old high school building. It's now torn down. And it was this red brick high school building that got shut down because of asbestos. Well, there was this spirit in there that was dark, evil, you know? Yeah. And he would take children in there and basically kill them and offer them up to some sort of dark god. Well, I kicked a... One of my friends kicked a ball over there and they saw me talk. My friends didn't see a thing because I thought there was someone standing there. And I don't remember what I said or heard from the guy or to him, you know, from or to him. And all I remember is passing out as I tried to run. And I woke up in the nurse's office and the nurse told me that the guy used to be a real man who said that Satan would keep his soul in that building because when he was finally tracked down, he was a cultist killing people in the school, trying to kind of, you know, commit some dark genocidal, like, whatever. And he was shot down by police. He was killed by police in a shootout. And his dying words were, I will be back. You can count on that because Satan will let me live again. To oh this gosh. day, to this day, I still have a fear of that land. There's a elementary school sitting on it now. But to this day, I will not go near it. I will not go near that land. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah. You were yeah. about to take that dress off when I was talking to you earlier, weren't you? You know it. Come on, babe. Take off the dress. I want to see what's under everything that you're wearing. I want to see you without anything on. I want to get a good view of you. I'm very, um, what's the word, em embarrassed by myself. No, no, you can't do, you can, I promise, I promise I will not judge. 
You have my word. Can we just talk a little bit more just to make me more comfortable? Of course. So anything happened this week for you? Anything interesting this week? Um, you know, I like to go watch the squirrels outside. Yeah. I'm going to start calling you squirrel girl from now on. Squirrel girl. That's so funny. There was actually a squirrel I saw that had two heads. <laughs> Come on. Peace of one sec. <clears throat> and nope. Can do that. All right. You know what? Stupid pillow. Stupid pillow. God damn it. Will you stay standing, stupid thing. Okay, I can see you now. Just make sure your followers are polite. When they, they are. are. They won't be mean. Yeah, just make sure they watch themselves and their mouths because sometimes they will say things that make me feel I, I won't read them out loud if um if they're mean if they're inappropriate you mean yeah but because don't hold me to that I might I don't know I don't know what they're gonna say it looks like we're live on TikTok what's up give okay. them a greeting hey guys it's me, Linda. Today I am live on TikTok with um, one of the hottest men known to Earth and the, 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 the other realms and the multiverse. And mm -hmm. his name is Shadow Raven. You give me too much credit. <laughs> and I'm great to be here. And it's great being here with you. With all welcome of you, it's to, great. welcome to my show. My name is Linda, and I am the host. I'm just her guest. This is Shadow Raven. So, all of you who want to ask me questions, go ahead and make sure they're appropriate, because I will not be asked. I will not be asked any inappropriate questions. You heard him. I'm Shadow Raven, as many of you know. I used to go by Jupiter, but now I'm Shadow Raven. I renamed myself and became reborn into Shadow Raven. The Raven part is actually an homage to my hair, to my first name and my hair color. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, that's the way it is. If you guys so, can see him right now, he looks so hot. He's in his, his plaid flannel um, pajama bottoms. Yep. So go ahead and ask me any questions you must want to ask that are, Ask me your burning questions, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. What level of existence does Shadow Raven live on? Mm, the existence depends on how you perceive reality. It, like flipping a coin. You know, it's that's what reality is. It's like flipping a coin. Because they're two halves of the same coin. But... In this reality, I'm living a pretty peaceful existence, a pretty peaceful reality. I mean, despite all the hate I've been getting late, lately, I've, I'm getting a lot more peaceful. So let's just say I'm living a peaceful level of existence right now, of reality. Thank you for asking me. And They're not really asking you any questions. They're just saying that I look hot. <laughs> People like that are always, people are always like that. But you have to but agree, I, I do look hot. Yeah, you're the hottest thing ever. Oh, wow, you, you make me feel so juicy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you laughing? People, I was actually, get, that was an awkward laughter. I was, I was literally doing this the whole time and I was thinking of something and I thought of something funny to say, but I didn't want to say it. Because it sounds inappropriate. Because the way you said that, I was like, that would explain so much. No, you can say it. I won't get mad. Yeah, I was like, I was going to say, well, with everyone here, if you want to ask Shadow Raven any questions, if you want to ask me like anything like 
if you want to hear a joke or something, just let me know and I'll try to say as many good things or jokes if I have to. So, yeah. If I was an orange, you'd be my orange juicer. <laughs> that was a good one. That was, that. I, I won't lie. That's a good one. That was a good one. That was good. I know. Was I was disassociating the whole time you were talking, just thinking about that. Yeah. Um, let me think of another joke. Okay. There's this one joke, this little Johnny joke I heard earlier today. Little Johnny goes downstairs to get breakfast. His mom basically asks if he's done his chores. He tells his mom no. And so she goes, no breakfast to you. Go outside and do your chores. So he goes outside. He goes to the chicken coop, collects some eggs, kicks a chicken, goes to milk the cow, kicks a cow, goes to... uh. So first he goes out to do something. I forget the first part. Then he goes, he goes to the chicken coop to grab an egg, to grab eggs. So he kicks the chicken. He goes to milk a cow, kicks the cow. He goes to feed the pigs, kicks a pig and goes back inside. His mom gives him dry cereal. And he looks at his mom and he says, mom, why don't I get any milk or bacon or eggs? Well, while you were outside, I saw you kick the chicken. I saw you kick the chicken. So you won't be getting eggs for a week. I saw you kick the cow. You will not be getting any milk for a week. I saw you kick the pig. So you will not be getting any bacon for the whole week. His dad comes down the stairs, sees the cat and kicks the cat halfway across the room. Little Johnny turns to his mom and says, do you want to tell him or should I? <laughs> I don't get it. Think about it. He kicks the cat. People often refer them refer to them by a singular word. They oh, so you're saying that you wanna you wanna kick my cooter? No, he says. If you think about it, they call them pussy cats. Remember? So he kicks the cat. He looks at his mom and says. Should I tell him? Should he, are you going to tell him or should I? I thought you were just oh, recounting yeah, your, your life's it's childhood story. Across the room. Look, I have this hairbrush and I'm showing them. And this is, people always ask me if I brush my hair. Yes, this is the hairbrush I use. Don't tell them where you stick it though. Because that would be inappropriate. This is a riddle. It's a riddle, not a joke. It's a riddle. Oh. A riddle. What well, walks on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, three at night? A clock. Nope. Give you three guesses. That was your first. This been dusty. Nope. Okay. One guess left. Um, a person. You got it. Humans. Because when we're young, we crawl on all fours. When we're adults, we walk on two legs. When we when we're old, we use a cane. Well, um, what if the person that walks on two legs actually has to sit in a wheelchair? It depends on what you know. How can I say this without saying retarded or whatever? Because that word is frowned upon. It depends on what genetic diseases you have, or if you had a limb blown off during a war or something. Um, That's what up. it really depends on. Yeah, if you've been in a war and had your leg blown off, uh, either like, by like a Gerald. bomb or, or by a frag grenade or a, uh, a mine or something like that. Okay. Um, but you... Linda are definitely hot. Not gonna Thank lie. You. Thank you. That dress really fits your figure. No, oh, and you haven't even seen the half of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, your children, they're all wondering about your children. You, because you started spanking your other one. Oh, that was a long time ago. And well, let's just say Mariah doesn't like talking to me ever since then. She's kind of been, her and her mom have kind of 
started sleeping on the floor and hiding under stuff to try and keep from talking to me because they're mad at me. What kind of um, abuse would that fall under? Child abuse or animal abuse? <sighs> Depends on what you see it as, but that's all that's all in perspective, really. It's a matter of perspective, really. I leave it up to your interpretations. But to be honest, but it was abuse. No, it was it wasn't abuse. It was just called it's called corporal punishment. Okay. They want to know if you're pregnant. I'm just fat, okay? I'm fat. I'm fat. There's nothing in here. It's fat. Can you do a little jiggle for us? Oh, hell no. I'm just fat. I'm just fat. I'm just really, okay. really fat. Well, okay. I'm not obese, but I am fat. Well. I mean, technically, there's so much more of me to love. <laughs> yeah, that baby carrot. Why do people automatically think that's what it is? Well, With just that, lift it up. Lift up it's one. Just this. It's just mostly sweat. Okay. You no, know, I sweat. I so there's no cheese. No, there's nothing. I sit like this. I slouch. So it may look like a flap, but I slouch when I sit. I slouch. When I sit straight, like this. Yeah. See? Sit straight. But I sit hunched. Especially when sitting on my bed. I sit hunched. Do you wash your sheets? As you said, as I said many times ago, I don't use sheets. I sleep just on the mattress. That's what I've said. End of fucking story. Ow. Do you not sleep with any blankets? What do you think this fucking thing is? God damn. A lot of things. It's a blanket. Fucking comforter. Camouflage. What's it smell like? I'm not even going to answer that fucking question. Because I don't even feel comfortable answering that sort of question. Because I go to the laundromat every once in a while. But not since it's been snowing. That's right, everybody. It's been snowing out here. Like fucking heavily snowing to where cars are getting buried by fucking snow plows. Do Sorry. you send feet pics? Who the fuck? Ew. No. Of course not. Do you want to see mine? Are you into that? No, I'm not a... I'm not that kind of a pervert. Are you... Mm, nope. He's not that nope. kind of a pervert. Yeah, I'm not that kind of pervert. What other I mean, kind of that are you? Countries, it's seen as a pervert to look at a woman's feet. It's seen as perverted. But what type of other pervert are you? I don't peek at women while they're changing. I don't peek in a hot spring. And I sure as hell am not going to do that when the woman's in the locker room because I don't peek into women's locker rooms. I'm no pervert whatsoever. I'm Did a you good have to girl. learn that? No. I just got it right off the bat, meaning I'm a good boy. Although I play the part of the bad boy. Well, you you definitely are a bad boy. Last time we talked, you thought I was, you know, you know, twirling my cooter. That was a long time ago. Let let's just let bygones be bygones, okay? Okay. That's how I um, see it. What is your definition of a bad boy? Well, my definition, since I'm the kind of guy who just stopped giving a fuck about shit, you know, that's my definition of being a bad boy is when you stop caring and stop giving a fuck. But you all can have your own definitions of being a bad boy or bad girl, depending on your gender, age or something. I don't care which. Am I, I a bad judge. girl? I mean, you can be if you want to be. <laughs> but my definition of a bad boy is 
I don't give a fuck. I don't care what you think of me. And I get all the girls because of my rugged good looks and my charm. And plus, I'm pretty lucky because I I was born a handsome devil. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty handsome, pretty good looking. So I get all the girls with my rugged charm and good looks. That's all I get it off of. But uh, if you put a lot of, like, if you put too much into it to try and be a bad boy, the women are just going to throw you off, ma'am. Just going to be said honest. That you, you, you said that all the women are attracted to you. Maybe someone said maybe all the women on Skid Row. <clears throat> fuck that person, whoever said that. I didn't say that. I did not say that. Yeah, that's why I said fuck that person forever, forever, whoever said that. Fuck you. Thank you okay, very much. we're on TikTok. I can't, you can't say that. Sorry, but yeah, screw you. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, thank you. Do you want to take a bath with Linda? Not going to answer that question on live. That is inappropriate. Oh. I told you, keep your minds clean, people. A part of keep it clean, did you not fucking get? Well, that's what a bathtub's for. Due to... Due to years and years of what my brother did to me, I refuse to answer those questions. And yes, I forgave my brother, mind you. But I, I'm traumatized by the things he's done. I'm still kind of traumatized. Because I was a kid. I may have forgiven him. Doesn't mean I'm not holding him accountable. Because I, I took hold of my own sins, what I've done, and what you... And people who say I'm a pedo. Yeah, I was talking to people like that. But the truth is, I was drunk, did not know what I was doing. I was under the influence of fucking alcohol. I was under the influence of alcohol and wasn't thinking clearly about who or what was going on because I was either tired or drunk, people. Oh, my God. So okay. keep it clean, people. Yeah. Thank you. Just like what they said, your diaper. Fuck you, people. Okay, okay. I won't read them anymore. Sorry. No more questions about the diaper, guys. He doesn't wear a diaper. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what a SEX offender is. I don't know what that means. Um let's just let's just not talk about it. Because that's what my brother is. Oh, okay. But you're not one, right? No, I'm not. That doesn't... Just because I did something stupid doesn't mean it's going to happen again. What did you do? You know, just for the, those that didn't know, what did you do? So just to update people that don't know. Let's drop the subject. Don't want to okay. talk about it. Drop it. Leave it at that. Dropped it. They're wondering about your fingers. What about them? Wow, you have such nice manly hands. They're soft, though. Good for thieving. And yes, people, I used to be a thief. Okay, well, now you just outed yourself. I'm just saying, yes, I used to be a thief back when I was a kid. Used to pickpocket my sisters. I used to pickpocket random students at school. So your hands were in your sister's pockets? Uh, pickpocketing, uh, taking money, jewelry from their pockets. Wow, you guys were rich then. Not really. My sisters all got an allowance and I used to steal it from their pockets. Okay. I have some hands which are good for thieving. Um, at least that's what I've been told. On um, any random day, if I stuck my hand into your pocket, what would I find besides your baby carrot? If you were... So if I were to be wearing like pants with pockets, usually you would either find a lighter, a pen, or just lint. Do you chew on any lint? Oh, hell no. My uncle was a big lint chewer. He actually made me um, wear these pants. And when I was in trouble, I had to pick off every single individual ounce of lint off my pants and roll them into a ball for him to consume the guy was a pervert 
that uncle of yours, he was a pervert. Thank you. I'm glad he's dead. Do you have a rose toy? Huh? Someone said, oh, do you have a rose toy? Oh, they mean, no, no, I don't. Do I have a rose toy? What I'm saying is when they said that, they mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. That kind of toy. Okay. No, I do not. I Yeah, I don't have any of those either. Yeah, I don't. Someone asked, what do you find most attractive about me? Hmm. What I find most attractive about you, honey, is everything about you. Your face, your voice, your eyes, everything. I can't, I can't ever say enough about how beautiful you really are. And I'm sorry if I've been a jerk to you. I apologize. It's okay. I didn't want, I didn't want it to come down to any kind of hurtful thing. So, but it's uh, okay. it's okay, Daddy. I forgive you. Yeah, we all have to forgive at one point. That's what Jesus yeah. would want us to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. Yeah, I laughed because you were you just read my mind right before I said that. That's what I was going to say. And we you are fucking, telepathic. I told you. Yeah, you took the words right out of my fucking mouth, girl. Then I can take something else, too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. What about this song? I'm the type of girl to make the whole room quake. I'm the type of girl your man want to taste. Flexing on these hoes got me feeling so anointed. Now your coochie weeks and your man's disappointed. You know that song? nope i don't do i don't have a thing for that kind of music i listen to varieties i can get okay, i think i'm gonna get off tiktok now yeah that would be that'd be a big thing i should get off yeah thank you all for watching and asking me your questions but uh next time you crack any dirty questions i will tell you to basically be clean or else i'll leave Okay, I'll end it. Okay, I think it's it's gone now. Yeah, thank God. How was that? That went that went okay, I think. That went that went pretty well, I think. Yeah, went pretty well. Yeah. They want they want confirmation of what I've done just so they can have their own personal like vengeance that's the thing about it yeah but honestly i don't think some of them knew what you did yeah that's good yeah just you don't want them to know that you were like talking to little kids i answered their question about it i was being civil oh i know i'm, it's I'm just asking civilly minded it's better to be civil about it. You know, I don't want to have it any more than I don't want to talk about it any more than I have to. But let's just say I just let them know that what I did was fueled do, was fueled by alcohol. It clouds the mind, clouds the judgment. Yeah. When when I drink alcohol, I just want to go outside and kick some and squirrels or just smash something and then smash and piss on shit. Smash and piss on, whoa. That's something I would say. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was angry outside. I'd smash and piss on shit. Wow. That's the werewolf in me. That's my next song title, Smash and Piss on Shit. Do you piss on things often? Nope. Do you? Is that I'm why your, your bed was so brown the last time, your mattress? Because you peed on it a lot? When you were no, drunk? It was, no, it was just dirt and grime all over my body when I would come out of the shower and whatnot some dirt and grime would collide in the middle and make that yeah it's mostly due to dirt and Maybe grime we can collide in the middle <laughs> i've been through a lot lately and really i'm just tired of the bullshit you know yeah so i, I just live my day day by day i live in my life i live my life day by day and i doubt i'll wind up in prison I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. 
What do you think they'd even charge you for? I don't know. And like I don't if, care. If, no, but like if, if the police are looking into you, what do you think that they would, they're looking into you for? Just that photo I sent. They've been looking at that, but I don't have any photos of younger women, you know? I don't have those type of photos. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't be caught dead with that. But you did, but you just deleted them, right? If they did send me something inappropriate of them being younger, I would definitely delete it from my system. That picture of me got circulated all over the internet. So, yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. Did you send that to someone that was like underage? When I was younger, when that was the older me. That's the old me that did that. But this it was someone new. underage, right, that you sent it to? And that, that's why they're mad at you? That's why the police were called, yes. I stopped talking to them, of course. I stopped, I cut contact, you know. I cut contact with those people because I knew that it was too risky to talk to them anymore. Especially if I was just going to be their friend, it would be too risky. Yeah. But you did get sent photos from them, right? No. Hell no. Well, what about the, you know, remember the Discord streams that you have and the girls would like take off their shirts and show you? That was only the adults that I was talking to. How do you know that they were all adults? Because I kept an eye on age limit. And I made my server specifically, I made a server specifically for adults. But you know, um, I joined that server and there are a lot of people that were under the age of 18 on there, right? Yeah, it was, that was stupid of me to even make. And to be honest, when, when I was with you, I... I actually remember you sent me a photo of you just wearing your bra at one point. I did? It was at one point, but it got deleted because I didn't want I didn't want rumors spreading all over the internet about shit, so I had no choice. But I don't remember this at all. Yeah, well, it happened. I think it was one of your friends who sent it, one of your friends who was by you who had the phone. I think they sent it because they were trying to fuck with me. I know you would, and I know you're going to tonight. I know that for a fact. Oh, because you're psychic? Yes, and I'm reading your thoughts. You want it so bad, so go ahead. What do else it. do I want from you? Uh, let's just say things will get interesting. We can, we can show off, or you can take off your clothes now and then afterward get redressed and go and grab food or grab food and then do that it's up to you babe like if i got some whipped cream and put it all over myself would you like that i would lick it off if i was in the room with you yeah i would lick it off you oh wow so do you, <laughs> do you off that body of yours to me after I get food, I have to have a full stomach. All right, go on, go and grab some food then. Are you simping over me? I think you're simping over me. Well, that's open to interpretation, my love. I think I'm one of your hottest girlfriends, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You could even even remember the third one's name. What if I, what if I told you that I'm sixteen or seventeen? I know that you wouldn't that you wouldn't lie to me so because and that's one of the secrets I have been keeping that I um that I am younger than I told you I was yeah well you're probably of age by now if not older no I turn I turn 18 in like eight or nine months I know, but you don't go around. You don't go around like that. You don't show it off to others to say that. Yeah. You and but I you're okay with that, right? You're okay with that. I'm okay with that because I love you nonetheless. Okay. Okay. Well, will you be there for me when I have my birthday? I'll... I don't know if I'll be able to make it all the way down there because but, uh, that's been another reason why i haven't been one been able to show up my body on zoom because it's against the law for me to do that 
well, technically, if it's private and no one, and this is a closed, you know, communication channel, you can if you want. No one would know. No one would know. It's just you and I here. Okay. Um. We, I wouldn't see any of my pictures on the internet. No, I wouldn't. I would never think of doing that to you. Okay, I trust you. Mm -hmm. I do. You should, by now. What if? What if I also had my my friend on Zoom that we that we can join together and we can both show off for you? Uh, it depends on interpretation, really. But uh, She's, that's only going to happen. Yeah. And would like you be okay if, if she was my age, like a year younger or so? Is that okay? Sure. I mean, technically off the record, yes. Sure. Because I think she's 16. I won't tell anybody, I promise. Yeah, I'm just laying back right now, chilling out, you know, getting my body to keep its thing is, on. Is 16 know? okay? I mean, I won't tell anybody. Yes. Off the record, I promise. Okay. I promise I won't judge. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just chilling out in my room right now, thinking about stuff. Think what about what I'm about. Think about what I'm gonna do tomorrow or sometime this next week, maybe. I don't know. I'm probably planning on saving up so that way I can. What about what about, what about me? I think about you constantly, almost every day. So, what do you think about? I think about how bad I want to ram that pussy of yours into next week. I want to fuck you so badly that you won't be able to sit down for weeks. 